Good morning. My name is Steve Johnson. I'm here in Mombasa, Kenya. And I've been teaching on the seven things that everyone needs to know about Jesus. Well, I've got a bonus video for you. And I want to take you back to that text because something very interesting and awesome happens. When Peter was yet speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon Cornelius and his household and they were all baptized with the Holy Spirit and so something powerful happened God didn't even wait for Peter to finish speaking but God began to move in power now here's the thing we cannot do anything without the anointing of God oh we can do stuff on our own but it will not bear fruit this is about the gospel this is about the power of God unto salvation and without the power of God all we're doing is building a man-made monument and we don't want that we want something that's going to last forever we want something that's going to go into eternity and so when we preach the gospel here's a key thing Peter preached the word of God. He didn't preach his own words, his own opinions, his own marketing techniques, his own perspective. He preached the word of God. And the word of God is what God anoints. Remember, God anoints that which belongs to him. God anoints his own thing, not our own thing, his own thing. So God anoints what belongs to him, and God anoints his word, God anoints the gospel. So when we look at the seven things that everyone needs to know about, about Jesus, we're looking at seven anointed things which attract the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is attracted by the proclamation that Jesus is the Christ, that Jesus died for our sins, that he rose from the dead. When we bear testimony of him, when we declare that Jesus is the judge of the living and the dead. This attracts the Holy Spirit. When we speak the word of God, the prophecies which pertain to Jesus, all these things pertain to Jesus Christ and all these things attract the Holy Spirit. When we declare that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved, this attracts the Holy Spirit. So if you want an anointed gospel message, if you want to see fruitfulness in your ministry, remember the seven things that Peter mentioned. The seven seven essential things that everybody needs to mention needs to know about Jesus Christ because we need the anointing of the Holy Spirit more than ever before and we want to see God move in power God establish his kingdom and people come into the kingdom and I want to encourage you in that fact that the Holy Spirit is available and he moves and he is not reticent about anointing his message God bless you from Mombasa